Hey guys, Mr. B here again, sorry about the delay. I just made a video and I totally forgot to turn the button on, so I have to use my piece of paper that's already marked up, but anyway, that's no big deal. Uh, so circle, circle properties. I've had a lot of requests to do uh, some circle property videos. And so uh, I'm not teaching circle geometry currently, but you know uh, there probably will be a course in the future that I will teach you. This might be useful to me eventually, but hopefully it's useful to you, which is the most important thing. Uh, so circle properties. So this is a circle. And I got it marked up already, but anyway. So circle is the infinite set of points, the exact same distance from a single point, the center. So this guy right here is called the center of the circle. And I use the Canadian spelling, I think, or I don't know. Uh, I use a spelling. And uh, the point from the, uh, so from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle, that is called the radius. And then I got in my red marker here, drawn all the way across, that is the diameter of the circle. So it's the twice the radius. Uh, so a couple of other formulas, other, a couple of other formulas that you might need to be familiar with if you're doing a circle geometry unit. And is the area of a circle, which is pi r squared, and the circumference of a circle. So the area obviously is all this, you know, the shaded in part. If I shaded it, imagine I shade it. And then the circumference is the actual perimeter of the circle, so the distance away around, which is actually would be in centimeters or whatever it would be. Um, and that's 2 pi r. Sometimes you might see pi d. And this pi right here is 3.14. So if you have a pi button like my calculator does, you can use the pi button in your calculations and it's going to be more give you more of an accurate answer. But some teachers want people to use 3.14. So depending on what you, um, you know, what your teacher likes. All right, so next step. I personally like the pi button, uh, but I don't really care. Uh, circle properties, so some more circle properties and definitions that you might come across. So if you look at this circle, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so uh, you can kinda get a better idea. So this guy right here is called a chord. So a chord connects um, you know, any two points in the circle. So it just goes across. It doesn't uh, necessarily have to go through the center. Like this chord doesn't go through the center. This chord doesn't either. And uh, there are a lot of different chord properties. So uh, you'll probably see them later on. And if you want to check out some, I've done some videos on chord properties. Um, so they're really important to be able to recognize when you have a chord and then what properties you need to apply. So a chord just basically connects any two points in the circle. Now I mentioned that, I've already mentioned the diameter, but the diameter is a special type of chord. Basically, it's a chord that goes through the center. So this is the diameter. Exactly half of this diameter would be the radius. So that's important to recognize. The diameter is a special chord that goes through the center. But a chord does not have to go through the center. All right, so I've got another definition here that's really important. Uh, so if you look at this black area right here, that is actually called, I'm going to write it here, the arc length. So the arc length is a certain percentage of the, di the uh, circumference. So the circumference is the entire distance around, whereas the arc length is just part of that length of a circle. So the arc length is actually given a, um, you know, it's like a distance, you know, it's literally a distance, and it's just some part of circumference. And there's a formula that we use to find that. I'm not going to discuss the formula in this video. If you want to check out one of my other videos, you can. Um, but actually, well, maybe I'll mention it really quick. So if you have an angle here, and you want to find the arc length, you can actually use this formula. Uh, S is equal to theta r. So that's the formula that I use, and the symbol for arc length is S. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. And the only thing you got to remember is this formula needs to be in radians. So if you're looking for a little bit more of an explanation behind this and some different type of questions, I got a video on it, so you can go ahead and try that video. Uh, the next one, which is uh, often confused with arc length and things like that, uh, is a sector. So this guy right here is like a pie piece, and this is called a sector. And a lot of times you'll be asked to find the area of a particular sector. So there are two different formulas. Well, there's one formula that you could use that I use the most. 
which is theta is equal to or area is equal to theta over 2 r squared so that angle right there also has to be in radians I generally do everything in radians but if you're used to using degrees you could also use this formula area is equal to theta over 360 degrees pi r squared so that works if your angle is in degrees now try to remember off the top of my head exactly what the formula is for the arc length in if you have the angle in degrees so this angle right here being the central angle I should point that out that that's a central angle I have a video on central angles so if you want to watch that you can I'm pumping all the videos so for arc length I think it's this pi 2 pi r so whatever so whatever your angle is divided by 360 and then um, 2 pi r so this basically the circumference and this one is basically the area so certain you know uh, this is like almost like a percentage of the of uh, you know the the, um, the arc length and same thing percentage of the area so this is a sector it's the pi piece it's often confused with arc length and things like a measure of the arc so it's, it's really important that uh, you understand those you know those simple definitions and then when you know what they are then it'll be easier to actually do when when you get to a hard question all right guys I know this video is kind of simple so uh, make sure that you watch some of my other videos and then uh, you'll get a better idea of what's going on with all the serial stuff alright thanks for watching